Okay, so I've been having some gum problems and now I'm almost over excessive and I heard aloe vera really helps, aloe vera toothpaste and such. I got this a couple dollars a week or more ago at Myers. I've only taken one cut off of it. And what I did was about three days ago, I took a cut off. So I've had this for a week or more. And three days ago, I took a cut off and I still have this nice leaf, this aloe vera leaf. So the storage uh, that I found helpful for myself is not only the saran wrap, but I also put a little um, paper towel and then I put a band, rubber band, got a hair band on it right now. And then I just flip it over and I just put it on a counter, put it over by my mixer, not someplace that's too hot or too cold. And I just wanted to share how I store my avocado, my aloe vera. Uh, uh, Avocado, uh, avocado, guacamole, guac, guacamole, mole. Um, take the avocado. Anyway, you take the aloe vera plant. Sorry for the vines. Um, mem vine vines. You take this aloe vera leaf, and you just enjoy. Originally, what I would do is I'd take a cut. Use saran wrap and use paper towel. And then I'd set it up like this. But the cut would leak, discolor my paper towel, and um, start to uh, degrade the aloe vera leaf. It would start breaking down faster. And then I was like, let me just try this way of just keeping it upside down. That way, if it leaks, it just kind of leaks around. The area, it won't discolor or affect the rest, and I'll have this aloe vera leaf a lot longer. And that's worked. It's been like three days. Before, doing this after a day would be discolored. By three days, it would start um, breaking down most of the leaf here. I was surprised at how cheap this is. See, we still got a little damage here, but a little discoloration, but it's lasting. Now you can just rinse this off if you'd like. But here is how I, I just, I chew it. I either eat it, eat the gel, or I spit it out. At first, when it's a small, you want a little bigger chunk, but, but as you get over here, you want... You won't need to cut off as much. And I just use a butter knife. So let's just go ahead and cut off this bad area. And you can tell because the gel is actually clear. <laughs> the aloe vera jelly. See, now we got clear. And this... Um, Butter knife actually just really does a really good job. I just cut the edges. Now it can have a bad taste. Now this is how I do it. It may not work for you. You may not like it. But sometimes you'll get like a nasty, a nasty feeling, nasty taste, but it shouldn't last that long. Yeah, it actually cuts like really well. And now we got aloe vera. And I just kind of swish, excuse me, I just kind of swish it around. And I just throw these out. Compost, throw out. So, just put 
put this, you just want you just want to seal that. Should like stick. Okay. And then um I guess we can I guess let's just not let it soak. We don't want our paper towel to get wet because then we have to replace it. And we'll just bandage it up. And now this will last a lot longer. We won't have to worry about it dying off. And I'm just going to go store it like that on my other counter. Thanks for joining me.